Well, depression and its risks is never an easy topic to discuss, partly because of the stigma attached to it. Joining us this morning, Mike King, who is, of course, a well-known Kiwi comedian and works with people struggling with depression in the Key to Life Charitable Trust. And Ezekiel Rowe is a 17-year-old head boy of Taipo School and is making a change in the far north, helping kids deal with depression and showing them hope. Kia ora kōrua, thanks for joining us this yeah, morning. Yeah, How big is the, is the problem, Mike? Huge. Um, in the latest stats this year, I believe 569 uh, people decided to take their lives. So it's, it's a really big problem. But the, but the biggest problem of all, I think, is um, getting services to help people in the initial stages, which, mm. is the, which is one of the major problems. What are the initial stages? Uh, the initial stages, so I have a suicidal thought. I'm contemplating suicide all the time. I go in and get assessed, and then from the assessment, it'll take minimum six weeks to get someone to to actually talk to me and bring in the steps that I need. I can see you shaking your head there, Ezekiel. What's yeah. that about? <laughs> I, I, just to agree, along with um, what Mike said, it's from from my perspective and from what I hear from a lot of my friends who may have been through, I guess, um, depression and who have seek support um, from organisations, they've found it that um, it's all right. Okay. Uh, an, an organisation has told me that I'm depressed and now I'm going to wait six weeks before anyone deals with it. Mm. And so it's, it, it kind of makes you think whether or not um, it's worth going. And so that it, it leaves a gap between um, youth or anyone in general. Um, well, you basically have to yeah. survive until you can yeah, get the much. help that yeah. you need. So you're, you're an ambassador for Mike's uh, Key to Life Charitable yes. Trust. How did you guys meet each other? We met at uh, Taipa Area School when I went up there to give a talk on uh, self-esteem and, and touching on suicide mm. uh, after five kids at Zeke's uh, school um, left this world. Um, so I went up there like all adults thinking I had all the answers and I knew everything and um, I got there and I realised that I knew nothing. Um, and that uh, the young people weren't the problem in this uh, suicide situation, they were the solution. Um, they were the most phenomenal group of young people that I'd ever met in, in my life, mm. and they turned my thinking around. What, what were you thinking that wasn't working? Well, I thought, like everyone else, these kids need to bloody listen, and they need to get off all of these devices, and, and here's what they need to do, and I had all the answers to everything, which were you know were just standard. Kids need to learn how to communicate. Parents need to get in their faces and get all the answers out. Mm. Um, you know, m my thing was that kids didn't know how to communicate. This is the most communicative um, uh, generation of people in the history of the world and what I realised was it's not their attitude that needs to change, it's my generation. So you, you were sitting there, Ezekiel, listening to Mike and what were you thinking? No, he lectured me. He didn't <laughs> oh. think, he lectured me. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. And so I, I stayed behind after Mike's quarter at all um, and to talk to him a little bit about an, an idea No, you didn't talk to me, you told me. I, OK, I told him. <laughs> and it was just, it was the fact that um, we've been told what to do. We're it's, um, if, if something's wrong in, in our home or within ourselves, it's hard enough. Um, you'll get over it. It's just a little phase. Um, and just leave it behind you. It's not even worth looking at. Um, and the problem that I've found through um, a lot of my friends' perspectives or through youth's perspectives is they're not being listened to. Um, and they feel that. And so they, they retreat within themselves to the point where they refuse to share or trust anybody. Um, who comes in, even if it's a new face, um, someone like Mike, who's, who's come into, who entered into, I guess, a world where there were all the rangatahi had retreated so far within themselves that I guess my thought was, I'm going to go talk to this fella, but is he for real? Yeah. Because so many other people have said the same thing to us, but everyone else is just there, just in time for the newspaper or the camera to catch that snap. So it's listen. On. Don't talk at your kids, yeah. it's listen to your kids. B build a relationship with yeah, them. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's, look, we are constantly trying to drag this young generation into our world and come round to our way of thinking. Our world... Our world died the day we said it's always been done this way. This young generation's world is ever-evolving and will be ever-evolving, and so we have to ask, we have to ask to... To, um, uh, to be a part of their... Yeah, to be a part of their world. We have to gain their respect. We have to gain their trust back, and until that happens, nothing is going to change. So if we